Good evening and welcome to the European Community League I'm Eats for Playing and tonight I have an impromptu streaming of uh, VLK and LWJG. I apologise I've been asked to stream this at the last minute so there will be minimal artwork etc but uh, this is on what is definitely my favourite map in the game and I know that I'm, I'm on my own in this opinion but it is on Foy and Foy Knight no less so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, we'll just switch over onto the game because both teams are shuffling into the server now. And hopefully we'll get a start pretty much on time. Uh, coming to you with a half an hour delay. So it is just hitting uh, 8 o'clock in Europe right now for me. So where do we begin with this foy? Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant map. If you look at the midpoints, for example, where do you go? West Bend offers the best cover, but... There's this little bit of forest here, otherwise the centre can be characterised purely as snow. Open fields of snow. One second, I just need to put the game sound on. What makes Foy so interesting slash difficult to play is you are so limited in where you can place your garrisons. Only little spots of cover here and there across the map allow any kind of safety to your garrisons. It's a very tank tanky map and knowing where teams will have to place their garrisons inevitably leads to a lot of joy for tank and artillery on this map. I'll do a quick look at the uh, the midpoint so west or come to west bend last because it's interesting. The dugout barn on the east side is the it's unique amongst center points in Hell Let Loose. There is nothing around it. Look, no cover anywhere. Now I always say the, the big mistake that a lot of new players play in Hell Let Loose and most public games you find they build the, uh, the garrison on the hard cap. This is usually a terrible idea because you're just allowing artillery to shell it and you're blocking a second garrison being built anywhere within 200 meters of the hard cap. So it's a long distance. I'm just going to turn. So I haven't streamed in such a long time. I don't even know how to turn chat off. Uh, do, 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 do. It's not in audio. Turn that one off. Uh, profanity filter. What are you on? Oh. Go chat for new messages off. Uh, okay. Now that should keep the chat away. So yes, you basically have no choice on Dugout Barn but to build your garrison in the uh, the hard cap because where else within 200 meters is there to build a garrison? So it plays very, very, very strangely at this point. Uh, it's, it's just a death fest. Anyone trying to come from the north or the south is, is it's so hard to crush. You've got to have coordinated smoke, tanks, artillery. It, it, it makes it one of the, the most challenging points in Hell Let Loose for either side, the attacker or defender. Similarly, Southern Edge. Unlike Dugout Barn, there isn't really much cover on Southern Edge. And again, it, the temptation is to place your garrison in the hard cap, but you are much better placing one here, one here, or one here, and one here. It, it, it just... Southern Edge is, again, just a brutal hard cap, and unlike Dugout, there's nowhere to hide, so anyone trying to stay alive on the hard cap to give capping pressure is not as effective as they'd like to be, especially when the artillery and the tanks come raining down. And then thirdly, we look at West Bend, which you can see there's, there's cover, arguably. Cover runs out on the hard cap, which is this part right here, but it's perhaps the one point that is more allied favoured just to each of this big forest you have. The allies have cover and they have space. They have space to just about squeeze in two garrisons here and here. Well, you'd put the second one back here. And then they get free run garrisons here. Whereas the Germans, do you place your garrison here behind or do you place it on the hard cap again? Boy, is it's such a different map to the other maps on Hell Let Loose. It really is difficult to learn how to play for you. Which is which is why I love it. I also I love the Band of Brothers vibe. It really does feel like the uh, the scene where uh, what's his name, the useless one that replaces Winters, gets replaced himself by Spears. But uh, yeah, but if the Band of Brothers nostalgia to this map. So we are rolling on five past seven. Uh, I believe yeah we are perhaps just waiting for the streamer on the uh, other side. Otherwise we are ready to go. So it's going to be difficult capturing the rollouts on this. There's, there's 
such a wide map you have to play the whole map so we'll see what we can do I also need to turn the marker thing in nameplate That one. Yes, it is. Ah, just in the nick of time. Now, if we see everyone, just about within a 500 meter radius. So, here we go. So, we'll be watching VLK. They will be the allies from the south here. LWJG from the north, the Axis. And that all important midpoint. It's a completely different fight. Depending on what that midpoint is. And we have West Bend. Just find my squad. Ah, oh, lovely. I know. Yes, he's marked it. Brilliant. Oh. Right, e ho. Let's go and have a look. So, hmm, due left points until we get to Cobru. So this is going to be a fight for the west side of Foy. Of course, you, you have to control the, the town as well, at least this part of the town, to hold West Bend. Stop those flanks coming in from either side. The map as a whole is perhaps a little bit German favoured due to the fact that the town is, well, on their side. The key for VLK will be to, to hold in this forest line, make sure that doesn't get penetrated, and keep contesting this road here. And just a little bit of cover out here. And to stop LWJG from being able to build a garrison down here and, and pushing into the, the back here. Expect artillery to have a lot of fun. Both sides, the tanks will have a lot of fun. So, as you can see, the trucks all getting ready. We've got the uh, VLK trucks there, all piling up on that point for some reason. See where they roll to. And then... LW Weddy down here. One minute to go. All the wall comes down. So, I will sit around Southern Edge and just... That West Bend is within 500 metres. We can see to the edge of the map from here, just about, yes. So we'll, we'll be seeing uh, CT's artillery marks, and of course, you want to stop them getting into the back of the hard cap. Of course, the Axis will arrive both into the sector and the hard cap a lot quicker than the Allies, but as I say, that forest is a lifeline. Supplies already going down for that edge of map. Well, that Gary behind the building there. See where uh, the other supply drop has come down yet? I don't see it. So, yes, here we go. That's a Lux pounding away. Yep, see a truck on the edge of the map there. Two trucks, one stopped. There's the Lux and the Panzer IV. Here we come, the uh, Allied rollout down the road. Stuart following a truck. And a second truck here. Third truck. Oh, oh, that truck shot that 
uh, that tank, sorry, shot that truck. Was that an entire truck kill? I think it was. Here comes the second truck unloading on the building. Already VLK getting getting close to the hard cap. LW going in. Expect to see that contest. Yeah, there we go. It's flipping back now, that hard cap pressure. Ticking again LW's way, but... First round in on the Lux misses. LW denying the push here. This could go to to LWJG in a minute. They've done well, set up the hard cap and defended it. VLK still contesting the east just about, but squad leader goes down. Okay, gonna need to think about sector loss in a moment. About 40 seconds, 30 seconds to go. This will be important here if Health Euro can stay up. That's the cap. Still good presence on this east side here for VLK. grind and see what's happening down here. That is the medium Sherman and the Panzer IV. Contesting. That Panzer IV gets the Sherman. That could be big. Now look, LWJG are going to come and push, try and uh, spread the Allies back to their garrison. Which of course as a red zone is now locked. Well, they're contesting the east side well, but they're losing the west now. See the front line all the way across there. But they do have armour to deal with here. VLK, they need to get rid of these tanks. Perhaps it's time for an AT gun back here. So the RT ping coming in there on what is presumably the garrison. LWJG doing good work in the forest, pushing them back. If the LK are winning the east here, 
taken, just about taken this little uh, complex. And flanking, this is how you play for your allies, you have to flank. Better take advantage of the fact that nearly everyone has an M1, got M1 Garand and generally outshoot the Gewehr or car. And of course Foy, really the only map you have to push beyond that third line and to, to take down the garrison. You've got no chance of capping a point if you don't take their garrisons down in their third line back. Can this contingent hold on in the forest? Answer four. Surviving for now in the west and pushing the east still. They're doing this right for you, okay? But then again, sir, LW, you have to push those tanks in. LW have to win on this narrow front, VLK have to win on the flank. Sending the tanks forward is the way to do that. Both sides doing what they need to do at the moment. Shot comes in on the P4. Let's have a look. I honestly don't see where that came from. What was that? Didn't even see this. Is that the Stuart? Looks like it. P4 backing up now. Well done, VLK, holding off that assault. Meanwhile, they're still probing on the flanks, not breaking through just yet. Oh. Hello, Elsa. How did you get there? Uh, is that the first time? It is. So, Tiger's coming to support the B4. Or we'll maybe have a second attempt at driving VLK out of this little forest. Remember, I did do an overlay for this and I forgot to put it on. There we go. I'm just going to focus this side because VLK are winning in the east here. Starting to close them in on the town. This again, well, some movement here. Yeah. Oh dear, this is dangerous. Verse 76, and he's got infantry coming, but he's got an assault coming behind him. Oh, this is bad. Surely he hears the engine. He's got a uh, Gewehr then. He hasn't got the... Uh, what has he? 
you have a gavur, or you have a gavur, you have no satchel, oh dear. Oh well, well that could have been dangerous if that was uh, assault level 9. Garrison is gone. The tank remains. The OP is there. If that OP wasn't there, well, this would be very good for VLK. But that OP is there. Aralan is looking. Gets days. Can he take the OP? Spawn wave, he gets the spawn wave. Well, here we go, there could be some movement here for VLK. Look at that, Hellfuhr still dug right into their back lines here, causing havoc. Now the artillery's moving. This could be the moment for VLK. Ooh, something bounces, that must be the 76 off the Tiger. Tiger retreating. Tiger showing ass. Yee, wave that bomb. Ah, oh, he's moving the artillery back. Sees the friendlies coming in. But broken their defences in the town, but they are managing to use this field now. Look up a bombing run. There it is, a LLDLK bombing run on the offensive across the hard cap. Some lucky survivors from that. Uh, the cap started. That will energize VLK here. Oof. This is where the important battles will happen. Oh. LW artillery. Cutting it down for now. Now simply in behind. The key here is knocking the garrison, which is not there. Not sure where they put the garrisons then. Not here, not there. Well, if it's a hard cap garrison. Elected to build it here in the in the house, which is where you aim for artillery. Really, it's your default point on West Bend. That's uh, they've held route so far, but VLK getting closer now to the hard cap, into the hard cap for the first time. Here comes the defensive bombing run. Uh, just an 
no pee there. So yeah, Garrison has gone. Still plenty of control there from LW. This is the moment where one satchel can change everything. Back up. Oh. This is where you see the, the hard cap just becomes a dead zone. Uh, they had a few seconds of cap there again, VLK, for that hard cap garrison spawning. Uh, I need to keep this momentum going, VLK. Six getting a little worried. He's on his own. Seventy six goes down to is it a Stiga? Yep. Uh, they've got an hour and eight minutes to go, plenty more tanks to come. Now this offensive might break down for VLK, but as long as they stay hooked into the, the forest here, they haven't let anyone get behind them yet, so All this pressure here on the hard cap has to come from somewhere, but they're still holding the town. LW, though. So this particular offensive just stalled a little, but I'll double your good control over the town still. Not VLK still making progress. Once again, VLK establishing. No garrison. Arty landing. This could be a push here. It's 
especially if, if Tamino can get watching this yet and stop the reinforcements coming in. There's an OP here. No garrison and uh, artillery is just hammering that OP. be a push. This could be a big push. Another OP there. Oh. Gary's there. Marty's there. We're going to see quite a few people evaporate in the next few minutes. Tiger here pushing. Still no armor. Uh, be okay, but they've managed to get almost halfway through the cap pressure without armor. Once again, capping. Garrison rebuilt in the bottom right corner there. Clex. It's out of the arty par for now. Oh, perhaps they've spotted that. Perhaps they spotted it. He's going to move to there. Again, another VLK bombing run. That's it. Yep. Right across the garrison. It does get it. One, two OPs left, perhaps, here. Yeah. Um, this is getting very, very VLK. That bombing run, I think, might just... Just have secured it. Two OPs up there, there's a third to there with Plex. We'll be rebuilding that garrison as soon as he can. Oh. The artillery could make that impossible. Down goes Tiger. Yeah, poor Clex on his own. Support here, garrison down. 40 seconds to go till the spawn, by which time the cap race will still be on. That garrison wasn't too late to save the point, but it's going to take a lot of people. Carl's got close, but there we go. Oof. One 
point goes to VLK after almost half an hour of fighting. Now just days and dug, the day, days goes down and a uh, solid cap from VLK there, meanwhile. The next point being the factory. Yeah, and Eldor, you have used this opportunity just to wipe out VLK from the town. So an entrenched 3-2 for now. And this is this is it. The Germans get there first, but once you're pushed out of West Bend as the Germans, you've got no way back in. Except across at least a hundred meters of open field. Be very difficult for LW to recover from this. Okay, already pushing out to secure the perimeter. 76 in tow. And now we see the roles reversed and an LW pushing down into this little hamlet. Again, key for them to retake will be to take this ground and to be able to at least have some annoying pressure here to pin them back onto their garrisons, but it is. This is the single hardest point to take, and hell, let loose is German taking West Bend from being kicked out of sector. It's it's the hardest thing there is to do in the game. It's it's so difficult. It's just there are ways into the back, just across that field there, but eh, there's very little cover. And now we'll see the fight moving over onto this east side where it is possible to push. Already the artillery is here. See the long range killing power on point. So already a little bit of a probe into the town. VLK have secured the little hamlet back there. goes down in the... oof. Um, G and squad leader go down in here.
There's not really any pushing to be done here, but... They're trying. I still LW, can't managing to hold in on this high. Neither side's really going to be able to push there. Although LW are committing here with... with numbers. This could be something. Really, as, as Germans, you've got to take advantage of your superior firepower. The STG at range. That's the sheer tank. Pressure that you can put on with Luxes and... Yep, yeah, this, is, this is how you do it as German, you just push and hope for the best. Tiger is back here and engaging with this. 76. Oof. Try and get a look at that. You see the 76 just above the stress seat. Oof. Gets the tiger. Yep, VLK still in control of their back lines. So the fight in this town becomes all the more important. Hard to predict what's going to happen here. Urban combat. Do have a 76 pushing in. Famously not great in uh, urban combat heavy tanks, but that could make the difference here and let VLK push the town finally. I'm not taking my eyes off of this little push over here as well, so it's an impressive line from LWJG here. The LK are pushing. You want to just sit back in the town and let maybe chill? And just shoot them as they cross the fields? But no, if you know they've got Garys and OPs and AT guns as LW have built, then yeah, you got to push them. So both sides coming to the open field nightmare here. And Yeah. No man's land in the town, little pockets here and there, but Urban combat. 
Nobody knows about Nero, presumably. Nero probably knows about that tank. Nero, he is stressy. And here comes Fetch Feet. He knows he's there somewhere, but... Oh my. Crew gets out, gets one. Oh, goes down. That's a very good try from Nero. He did very well to get right around the perimeter there, and it spooked the 76, and they've lost a crew member, so that's put them out of the fight for a minute at least. Oh, decaying. a new tiger right up there engaging the 76 here second there they can probably double team this tiger hitting yep tiger down see in the distance there now without the tank oh what oh he did go down perhaps that was the tiger I missed that sorry well, that has just off-footed VLK in the town. Whilst this front of the push is, is doing amazingly well, now not so, it's, it's been reacted to by many VLK coming to stop it. And the two tanks, of course. And the cap is starting on factory, which means something. So oh, it's just this frontal pressure here into the corner of the grid. So many of LW are out here in the town dealing with this. Or here. It's just. Yeah, there we go. The spawn wave on point. Corrects that. But now the, the VLK 76s have pretty full view of the whole of LW's line. What's over there? Is it an AT gun or... It's the profit is? Something's upsetting that tank. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Repair stations and a garrison. The garrison survived that. Now oh, it seems like VLK winning the tank game for the moment. Which has forced the line back. Okay, doing well to hold out the flank, making sure they're not being flanked here at all. This fight will return to the stalemate, I feel. Neither side able to push open fields. Lovely front line with a recon tank out here. Just. I'm just guarding the rails. Preventing them. Getting the recon tank out here. Still engaging. 
Ah. Just misses with the rocket. P4 is fleeing. Oh, so I hit by the uh, Greyhound. Now a poorly engine. Ah, she's doomed. Has another tiger arrived yet? So the fuel game's not going well for LWJG. Meanwhile, the ring titans here. The arcade. But I have to say, I've played this tactically beautifully. Have sat in there, waited, kept the flank going. They never got carried away, and they've just let the line evolve. And now they have LW closed in around Cobra. Finally. Oh, yeah, VLK will be happy with this now. Just holding them in the town. And that looks presumably Loses his infantry support there. Huh? maybe? Hmm. Well, that's a blow for VLK, but... I think their line is holding. Well, we're over the halfway point and the battle has evolved. The LK have kept the front line going right across the map the whole game. Yeah, it's going to take a big push from LWJG to get them back into West Bend from here. But, uh, I do see a flag on the uh, garrison there. But, uh, it's looking pretty good for the LK. That's just the uh, truck here. Stein after to build something. Oh, I think I may have spot yeah, I know he's there. But where is he going? Good luck with that. But still holding strong here. 
complex has made it into the trenches here, which is good if he can get some bodies with him. Well, they need to do it quickly. Uh, he's already spotted, so... Yeah, a lot of BLK there need to die before anyone can push from LW there. But they're not giving up hope yet. LW have retaken the east of the town. are arriving, but... 276 is there, just gonna shut that down. Very difficult here for VLK to push. Just the difficulties of urban combat. Now we do have the little fight going out dugout. Oh, plenty of VLK coming. Pings they were, of course that's Gideon. BT sniping. Oh, there. Well, yeah. Not much you can do as a flanking squad leader when there's four people looking for you like that. So. Back to West Bend. Still have the LW hooked in on the fields. Be okay. Not. Like they are making slow progress in the town, but it's so easy to undo, as we've seen so many times. LW holding secure. Is that a new tiger? Engaging the 76 there. Oh, is that a two tiger? Seventy six retreat slightly.
probably okay look to be finally shutting this down, at least pushing it back. Clex is still there. Still there. Nice trophy of a helmet to take back home there. I just want to see this OP if anyone comes to Clex. I think that's been 20 seconds, so... And a tank round gets it, all that hard work, it's just it's so frustrating. Meanwhile, LW have retaken the southern edge of the town. Not the southern edge to the point, of course, that's where VLK are returning from. Yeah, this fight's still moving. It's probably the artillery ping coming there. So, Clex is still there, of course, like, you know, does the sun rise in the east kind of thing. Like, Clex just, it's always going to be hooked in. Even Clex immune to the uh, caster's curse there. Well, that was a bombing run, which was uh, presumably uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Uh, not LW, sorry, VLK. But it seems to have missed most. Of course, VLK just going to be worried now about what is this garrison here? Just keeping that alive. Clex the only survivor. Oh dear. Oh dear, this might be it for Clex. Oh. Oh. I feel like we should have a moment of silence. Yeah. Wanna play by Clex. Managing to hold in there for ten minutes. But that is it for the West. VLK have established that perimeter now. And of course the next step for VLK is to take the town and start getting some pressure from the east, but they have to go a, a long way into the town here to do that. So for now, I feel things will stay the same for the time being. I don't think that 76 has a shot, so it's moving up, but Tigers are looking to position themselves on the east, so it looks like LWJG will go for this west, sorry, western push here again on the right of our screens. But 
they need to take uh, this little hamlet back. It was, of course, holding this hamlet for so long that allowed VLK the time to push Westmen from the front. Oh, Tiger is damaged. Uh, oh, yeah, 76 is engaging. Seventy six is there, beyond that last hay bale. To the extreme ranges of combat I'm fully. So the tiger on the right might be moving up to see if it can get a shot. Yeah, your commander's going to have a little look. VLK pushing out of the hamlet now. Just want to keep an eye on these tanks over here in the west. Two tigers there on the right of the screen. 76 there, middle of the screen. Sure, where the uh... there we come. There's the 76 on its way up, and one on its way up there. So that Allied tank is alone at the moment and will not be aggressive. Oh, was that artillery? I am maybe. No, just, just waiting for his mates to come. Get that number advantage back up again. Doesn't want to take on two tigers on his own. Perhaps I'll... They think they are shelling him, but... Perhaps the tigers don't know they have the numerical advantage at the moment. Oh, is that a 76 round? Get as close as I can. Something's hitting the 76. Here comes the third tiger. Now they do have the pure numerical advantage. About a minute after the other tanks arriving, so let's try and keep them all in view while I have a quick look here. There, the town, which is still contested. So we have the three tigers on the right, and the solo 76, or single low 76 on the left. Soon to be joined by two more. I feel like what happens in this armor battle we're about to see could have a big impact on the outcome. 26 minutes to go. Neither side, I believe, will be swimming in fuel at the moment, so these tanks are all important to keep alive. We see the 76 there, the wide 76 on the west. And the other one just coming up to help the fight in the town, so it won't be with these three, pan these three tigers. Oh, 
Tiger's engaging the 76. Oh, a bounce. 76 looked like he was reversing. They almost certainly don't know about the second 76 there behind the house, behind West Bend. Oh, they do. They just hit him. And he goes. That. I'm not even sure what that was, but it wasn't one of the three Tigers we see. They do get the 76 there behind West Bend. So one, 76 there, and this one now is coming over into the fight. See the three Tigers still up on the right. Oh, that's one hit on the tiger. Tiger down. Two tigers, two 76s remain. But I believe they're shelling West Bend as well. Well, we've been watching that, but yeah, okay, have broken the town completely. The other tiger goes down, so this is looking like it's swinging increasingly in VLK's favour. Broken that side. LW, yeah, they need to get this push out of their HQ from Cobra Approach. Down this road, they need to get hooked into the town here. So, both 76 is still up. One Tiger. It's now pulling behind the house at the top of the screen. And the LK break in here. Defensive Arty shutting the road down. They lose that tiger. Nope, he's behind the house still. Here comes a bomb. Bomb. VLK. Offensive bomb. We're going to cross the hard cap. I mean, that's that's just unlucky. That is the signal to push. Here they come. bodies on the hard cap, but completely outnumbered at the moment. Of course one satchel charge can change all of that. Seventy-six commits, goes down to new tiger I presume. 
I'll be four. And now, getting that hard cap pressure. Oh, there's a contest on West Bend, but that's because one, two people there. The defensive bombing run, meanwhile. Sort of equally unlucky, you know, it gets... Yeah, it, get, it gets kills, but yeah. There's a lot less people on uh, Cobra than there were a moment ago. Of either scene. As they... looks like they got their spawns, so... LW having to push him from outside now. The factory is in Al Sad's hands for now. Oof. There we go. Nero has managed to get behind the attack. What can the mad Roman Emperor do? What have you had? The capping pressure started now. LW coming in from due north. Of course, northeast. This is the push that needs to work. They need to get in and wipe these spawns here quickly. And LW doing well to get back onto the hard cap. There's only uh, the small infiltration force. Alsad finally goes down. Oh, and the hard cap is back in LWJG's hands. Nero. Killer are behind. Baker OP flagged. So there. Oh, if someone gets Gollum, it might well have been Matsu. Hard cap is denied from VRK at the moment, but they're still infiltrating. Strassi finds the garrison. Oh, it goes down on the garrison, unfortunate. Medi comes back to save it. So no breakthrough yet, but... Uh, the town has leave and wait for VLK to attack here. But yeah, LWJG doing everything right, pushing back in up this road, wiping the spawns from behind from their area of control, and should put an end to the attack. One OP up still here, but. Uh, throughout all of this, this fight has moved, but not. Incredibly. But VLK definitely in the driving seat now. Work of garrisons here. The garrisons on Foy harder to defend. Far and more, more important that you keep them up, but good supply options here. I think having one total tank dominance, VLK weren't able to use it, however, just 176 remaining. Oh, we do have the two seven. We've got another one coming up, uh, and this one retreated. So, oh no! Down the seventy-six goes to. I'm not sure. Oh, there, yes. I'm blind. So that tiger just helping hold the defence for now. No easy way in for VLK onto Cobra Factory. That yeah, town once again is contested. A 
so LWJG still have the footing here. They're not out of this yet. But it is a long way to West Bend from anywhere. Danger of VLK retaking the town again. This is why I hate urban combat. Just any room of any house. Yep. Yep. Off-footed VLK's attack. I think VLK possibly be happy to just dig in for the last 13, 14 minutes. But they are still in a position to attack. Of course, attacking might open a hole somewhere for LW to get in. Once again, there's a tiger here, a 76 by the destroyed building up there. The other one must have gone down, I missed that. Or is that it? But, uh, neither side being able to really home in the advantage with the tanks. Just some very good dueling. Now VLK putting more numbers into the town. Perhaps they will, we will make another uh, attempt at an attack. Ooh. So this defense time. <laughs> Is engaging 76, I believe. It's not going to pursue it, just it's going to wait there. Perhaps they're waiting to build up another on this flank. Here we go, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, two tigers here, one on the south side of the hard cap there. Oh. oh. Is that on the tank or is it on. Yeah, it was on the tank, it missed. We mapped up to repair. This is another attempt by VLK to push onto Cobra. Again, the ring is uh, closing around them. But 
solid defense for now. Once again, counter-attacking in the town. If VLK want to cap, they need to transition this weight here onto the hard cap quickly, but... Garrison network here is secure for VLK, nothing to worry about there. Uh, they perhaps can go all attack. Got uh, plenty of ways back into West Bend, just about. As many as you can do on the boy. That's a serious counter-attack here. With eight minutes to go, if they can wipe this quickly, maybe get something going on West Bend. Outpost there, so they're getting encircled here. Not anywhere for Sandieri to go. Now, can LWJG get something going? Seven minutes, that means five minutes to get a cap going on West Bend. It's looking pretty secure for now. I don't see anybody out here. Yeah. Just, yeah. Widest flank is right here. Okay, doing very well to lock this down. Of course, garrisons all across the map, essential, I'm for you. One of those maps you have to hold the grid from grid from the edge to the edge. VLK have done that very well all game. So five minutes on the clock. LWJG hold. 
mostly the town, but there is a fresh attack coming in from the east. Snipes at each other, but I think third seventy six down here. Four minutes to go. It's looking increasingly like it's going to be three two to VLK, but could change. Neither side are really looking to commit to an attack here, so LWJG done well to retake the town. Shutting off anything on the, the open fields. Here comes an airhead and bombing run combination from the LK. Strafe at it as well, that it's dealt with. seconds to go, I think that is it. It is going to be a free two. That's a very good fight. Traditional boy battle. Great tactics and patience from VLK to hold the wide. Yeah, LWJG just Unfortunate with the point, West Bend, when you play Foy and your Germans, is the last thing you want to see. So hard to get back in. Yeah, the VL tanks did push. Oh no, Captain too late with him and on the hard cap. Oh, Gary, did you miss what? Oh, did they? That was unfortunate timing, they were locked in on the garrison before he destroyed it. Oh, yeah, well played by both sides. It's, I say, my favourite map. I really enjoy Foy, but it's shown how brutal it is tonight. Both sides did very well though, it's, it's very difficult holding out any points on this map, so well done to LWJG for holding in on the Cobra factory for so long, but VLK the winners, having employed brilliant tactics, the wide line of the allies just gently probing and pushing in, managed to take West Bend and get them the victory. to 75. Going for a drive. 
Ah, GG, well played both teams. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. Let's have a quick scroll through the scores. And with that, I'll say thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to the organisers and both teams. That was a brilliant fight. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've been Eats playing, and I wish you a very good night. Goodbye.